Brother Eddie Coleman with the Tornado Apostolic Church. Welcome to our morning devotion. I'd like to read to you from the book of James, James 4 and verse 8. It says, Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double minded. I like to talk about being close to God. We want to be as close as we can be, or at least we should have that desire, that determination to learn more about God, to get closer to Him. And of course, that would mean that we would be much in prayer and Bible study, being faithful to church doing that good deed all the time, reaching out for others, you know, to be closer to God, to be Christ-like, to have a forgiving heart at all times. You know, sometimes it goes against the grain, so to speak. Our flesh have other desires. And that's where the prayer with God comes in. The closer we are to God, the easier it is to have the mercy that we need to have on others. Uh, the easier it is to try to find understanding. Most of us, most of the time, uh, want to be liked or feel like we're wanted or needed. And especially in the world that we are growing up today, it seems that things are so much faster, happening so quickly. We've got things to do, places to go, people to see. It all keeps us terribly busy and involved. Kind of what we call the cares of life. You know, that's just living. But folks, we have to wake up and realize that in our cares of life and in our living, that uh, there is a right way and a wrong way. There are things that are acceptable and things that's not acceptable. The enemy of our soul, he's found ways. Yes, he has. He's found ways to get between us and God. And the reason being is, so that he might destroy us. He wants to steal as many as he can from God. I'm glad that we serve a God that if we hold fast to God, he'll hold fast to us. But you know, the enemy comes in like a flood. The Bible says when he does it, the Lord would raise up a standard. I'm thankful that I can draw, draw close to God. It's not just close, but closer each and every day. It's not long until we become lukewarm, cold, indifferent. If we let the old enemy of our soul win. We get so busy and so wrapped up in the world. It's like we're fooling ourselves, thinking that, well, I'm okay, I'll, I'll get by. And really, in reality, we're not what you call ready if the trump of God should sound. It's something to think about. Walking with God is very important. And my, how I need to to determine that when I get up each and every morning, I want to walk with God. I'm going to slow down long enough to walk with Him, to talk to Him, to have a devotion with my God. I need Him today and each and every day. That's why the second part of the Scripture that I read in James 4, 8 says, 
Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. He knows that the flesh is something that we are fighting. But you know, I'm thankful for the power of the Holy Ghost. That he said that we would be endued from on high. When I found that place of repentance with God and was baptized in his name, I received the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God gave utterance. And oh, what a joy. Something that come over me was completely different than I've ever felt before. God knew that we needed this walk with Him, this closeness with Him. That's why He said that He must go away in order to send a comforter. The comforter that would lead us and guide us into all truth and righteousness. He's not talking to sinners in that verse. No, not just sinners, but he's talking to the people of God. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. 2 Corinthians 6, 2. For he saith, I have heard thee in a time accepted, and in the day of salvation have I secured thee, Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. We can't look back on yesteryear. No, we can't go back. We have to go forward. And according to the word of God, today is that day of salvation. Each and every day that I get up to go is the day of salvation for me. I need to find that place of repentance, that place with God. It's so important to draw closer to God. Matthew 11, 28 through 30, it says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God knows where you're at. And He knows the troubles and the trials that we're facing each and every day. He knows what is happening. He says, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your souls. I want to tell you, if you're covered up, I'm not sure which way to go. The anxiety seems to be just pushing you. Hey, get a hold of God. Get a hold of Him, as the Scripture says. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. It's not hard to walk with God. The flesh, you know, ourselves, between our ears and our mind. That's what we're battling against many times. We like to say, oh, the devil made me do it. He had somewhat to do with it, but we made the, the choice whether to go ahead or not. And the Lord knows, and he'll give us rest if we'll go to him. That's the secret, going to God. Talking to him. It is great to know that we have a God that we can draw closer to in this day of troubles and trials. Isaiah 55, 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. This lets me to know that There may come a time when I will not call upon God. I'll feel like he's not near. I'll I'll feel like I'm too far away. I must call upon him now while I know I can touch him. And I know he will hear me. I want to walk with God. How about you? I want to be closer to him today than I was yesterday. 
Oh, how we need to remember where God brought us from and what he has prepared for those that's watching for his appearing. Let's get closer to God than ever before. Lord, we thank you for your love and your mercy. We thank you, Lord, once again for an opportunity to serve you. Help us, Lord Jesus, to be the vessel you'd have us to be. We want to give you praise, glory, and honor. We thank you, Lord, for such love and mercy. God bless each and every one that's listening. Lord, help us to have a blessed day. In Jesus' name we pray. We thank you, Lord. Amen. Have a wonderful day.